I feel I have a responsibility to be in this industry until I can't work anymore, physically can't work anymore. I have a responsibility to the industry to promote it as honestly as I can and as truthfully as I can. My name is Sebastian. Uh, I run Double Negative Darkroom, which is uh, sort of a multi-use space. Uh, basically offer a, a range of analog services. We've got uh, a gallery, a daylight photo studio. We run a members darkroom, which is more of a community business. Uh, and uh, we encourage members to experiment and to play around with new processes. And that's really the ethos of the space. My personal journey into photography is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, obscure and complicated. Uh, I started off, I studied philosophy at university and started off doing a series of market research and advertising jobs for my sins. Um, and then I had a complete change of life and moved to Sweden and started studying photography and adult education uh, at school at RBF there. Um, and that really reignited my passion, the sort of an existing passion I, I had for photography and image making and I already started kind of you know, getting good at exposure, getting good at working with different formats and, and experimenting with different things. I spent 40 hours a week in the dark room and these are processes and techniques and skills that could otherwise easily die and so in a way we're here keeping the actual skills alive. Because whilst a lot of these things are written in books, the practical experience is a totally different kettle of fish. You can read something in a book and, you, and it's, sometimes the books are just fundamentally wrong and you only know this by actually doing it. When you see those natural things that move you. So I get a similar sensation from them being in the mountains. And I love the mountains because it gives you perspective to be able to see further than you can walk in a day. That perspective is astounding, especially when you're surrounded by concrete most of the day. Invoking sensations that I find very difficult to describe in words, that's how I think art, that's what I think photography should do. The most satisfying thing is to see somebody come in, not really understand, be a bit meek, by the end of a two-day darkroom course, they're excited, they're fired up, they're, they, they've learned something new and they've learned how to control something in the darkroom, how to control a print, how to make an image, a physical image, without being in front of the computer. If having a strong aspiration and believing in that aspiration and working towards it, perhaps that can be described as a promise, a promise to do the best that you can with it with the tools that you have. You try and grow this business so that it's more than just uh, a small London independent business, but something that can affect hundreds of people's lives every year, thousands even, something that turn it into an institution, something that gives them skills, uh, uh, gives them knowledge, gives them inspiration, gives them a platform to start their own independent analog businesses. That, that's, that's the plan, that's the idea, that's what I'd like to do. And if, you know, whilst I'm not making a promise I'm going to be able to do that, I'm definitely promised to myself that I'll try as hard as I can to do that or to change it, evolve it, grow it. <laughs>